So this is an interesting problem. We're asked to find the electric field at this point P. And we have this semicircle. Uh, half of it's going to have positive charge and half of it's the negative charge. Now I want to think about this in terms of where's the center of charge from here. It's going to be basically right there. And that is pointing in this direction. And the center of charge from here is going to be here pulling in this direction. And now I'm just going to be uh, combining these two to make this line a little bit like this. And uh, so this is kind of cool. So let's see if we were able to write the equation out first. K, uh, Q over R squared. But let's realize, okay, let's try to define some kind of angle. We're going to define this angle in this particular case, which is going to be that one. And we're going to know that the component that we're looking for is in this direction. So it's opposite. And Sokotoas is opposite sign. And so it's going to be this one right here, right? All right. So now we can think to ourselves. All right, um, let's try to set up the integral. Um, we know that this is a linear thing. There's no area, there's no volume. It's just, uh, it's lambda. So let's try to do lambda. And lambda is supposed to be equal to Q over um, L. But L for a semicircle or a circle, L is R theta, right? S equals R theta. So we're going to put R theta down here. And so this is kind of what we want to be thinking about in terms of... Uh, in terms of the situation. But let's start with our DE equals um, K, and then we would have a DQ on the top. But what is DQ? DQ would be equal to lambda R D theta. Okay, and so this is what we can plug in for DQ at the top here. Lambda R D theta, and then we see that it's R squared on the bottom, which is cool, it's gonna cancel, and we're left with the sine theta. Now we can try to simplify this and set up for the integral because we would have E equals uh, K and then we have uh, lambda uh, over R and then we have the integral of sine theta d theta. Now where's our limits of integration? Hmm. Well, technically we're going from a negative pi over 2 over here to pi over 2, okay? But we know that if we have something that's negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, we can also just say 0 to pi over 2 and multiply that by 2. So we're just going to do that 0 to pi over 2, and then we're going to multiply our answer by 2. So let's try to integrate this out. Okay, lambda uh, over r, and then we're going to do the uh, negative cosine of the first one, which is pi over 2, and then minus another negative cosine of uh, zero. And when we figure this out, obviously negative cosine of uh, pi over two, that's just zero. So that's just gonna go away. And then we're gonna be left with plus one over here. And so that's kind of cool. And so this is basically gonna just be, oh, we forgot the two. This is just basically just gonna be our answer. Let's try to combine these two equations that we've been working with. So we would have E equals 2K, and then this is technically Q over, um, um, if we combine R and R, that would be R squared theta, and then that's basically what we want to know. What is the theta that we've been working with? It's uh, going to be this pi over 2, so we would place that in there. So uh, 2K Q divided by R squared, and um, pi over 2 in there. And then I think we could start to plug this all into our calculator and get an answer. Because we know that R is actually given to us. R is 0 0.0392. That's the length of the radius. So we have 2 times uh, K is going to be 9. Here's 9 times q, which is supposed to be 1.03 e to the negative 12. And then we're going to divide that by the r squared, which is 0 0.0392 squared, and then times pi over 2. Pi over 2. And uh, yeah, so we get the answer. 7.68 coulombs. Nice.